Hey everyone, Allison here. So, with my new phone, I was actually coming out to talk about something different, but look at this. This is that big one I was talking about. You see that? Way bigger than my own hand. Look. And tons more coming out. It's like in this cold weather. Look at that. Oh, and more in the back. I don't know if you can see. Teeny tiny. But I do have one I want to show you. Actually, there's two. Look! You seen that? Have y'all seen that? Look at that. And then this one right here. Oh my gosh. I am in love. These look like my, um, oh gosh, I forget the name. It's not my pink ox. It's not my German she uh, Johnson's. I can't remember. Oh my gosh. I tied this up and now it's fallen again. And it's got so many tomatoes. I need to Oh, darn it. I about said something else. I need to put it up again. But look at this. More. Lots. And look at that one. Oh my gosh, you guys. I mean, my tomatoes are loving this weather. It's weird because it gets like... 50, between 50 and 53 degrees at night and then it gets only to about 70 74 during the day look at these look at these ones right here I hope y'all can see those yeah and then on this one look More there, and down here. This, I don't know what's going on with this one. This is um, my pink ox, but I'm getting a lot of blossom end rot. Not every one of them, but on quite a bit of them. See, I'm getting it on that one too. Let's look at these ones. No, see these ones are fine. So yeah, this one's my pink ox, but a lot of them are getting blossom end rot, and I don't know why, so. Oh no, these aren't my pink ox. Oh, what are these? I don't know. Well, anyhow, these, oh no, yes, these are my pink ox. Gosh darn it, Allison. These are my German Johnsons. And they look... Oh, I wonder if that's what... No, they're not. I don't know. Anyhow. And look! And more. I, I can't get over here. But... Getting more blossoms over here. The only tomato, though... I mean... Unless y'all are seeing what I'm not seeing is this one little lonely tomato. I mean, there's lots of blossoms that are trying to pop out now, finally, finally. Look at that. My potatoes, they're finally, these I believe are the purple fingerling potatoes. 
At least that's what the plant looks like. I could be totally wrong. But, all right, hold on one sec. All right, so you remember the little tomatoes that I told you I planted? Um, and these were from cuttings. These weren't um, from seed. They were from the cuttings. You know, the little suckers that you pull off? That's what these were from. And I thought for sure that they would die. But wow, look at them. This leaf, not so much. It's pretty dead, but look at that. And it's growing a new one right here. And same with this one. It's growing new one right there because that one's not doing so good. Pretty amazing what gardens can do, huh? Okay, remember how I told you that my radish garden was just destroyed? These are, I don't know what th this is doing, but look, I have one watermelon radish that is determined, absolutely determined, that it's going to grow. Pretty crazy, huh? And then, of course, Micaiah's flowers, and look, I don't know if you can see, look, isn't that gorgeous? So pretty. She hasn't seen this yet, so I'm excited for when she does. And then this sad thing. What is up with this sad thing? I don't know if I like this bag, but thank goodness. Uh -oh. I mean, the tomatoes, don't get me wrong. I mean, they're looking good. What tomatoes are on here? Look at that, look at that. Because there are quite a bit, I'm not going to lie. I mean, there's... But the leaves and everything, look at this, tons. Well, not a ton, but then you got your... The funky one, but look at this. I mean... Oh, I don't know what the deal is. I have... And I had this... More uh, secured... And something is pulling out the sticks, and I have to keep replacing them. I don't know what or why. But look how sad this is. I mean, it's getting the exact same amount of sun. It's get, uh, what do you call it, the aerated bag? I don't know. Anyhow, so let me get you all posi positioned, um, and then I'll come on to what I was wanting to actually come and talk to you about. Hold on. Okay. I figured y'all would rather look at something beautiful rather than my ugly mug. So, um, well, there's other reasons why I don't show my face either. So, but we'll just go with that. Okay. Um, I know some of you have watched all of, you know, some of my videos, um, well, the last couple at least. Or not last couple. Well, my last video, I believe, that I posted. Um, I mentioned uh, that we were going to go um, looking at a house. Um, and if we liked it, we would put in an offer and, you know, go from there and see what happens, whatever. Um... Okay, first off, let me say, I love the house. I do. I love the house. Absolutely and completely love the house. Um, it's got the wood walls, the wood ceiling, or, you know, um, you know, the, the beams. Um, yeah, I'm, oh my gosh. Yeah, love the house. I am, um, it is not 2,700 feet. I think they added the garage um, into the size of the house because the house is only, I don't know, maybe 1,800 square feet. Um, or maybe even maybe even 1700 square feet it's pretty small um i mean it's big 
like much bigger than what I'm in now. The house that we're renting right now is only 1400 And you can imagine my surprise. I mean, our house in Texas was almost 1,900 square feet. And then we moved here, and I was like, wait, what? Where, you know, so that's why a lot of my stuff is in storage and in boxes, because we just, no room. Um, anyhow, so we get there. Now, in the description, it says that it's got a circular drive. But there was no circular drive. So I don't understand why they put that there. Um, okay, it is five and a half acres, but only, I would say, maybe a half acre is developed. The rest of it um, is completely covered with trees, like, completely covered with trees. Right? Anyhow, so that, in order for me to put my animals and the big garden that I want and the orchard, it's going to be a lot of work. And when we got, when we were able to see, like, the layout of the land, it is so weird. Like, okay, so it comes, kind of comes down kind of like this, right? And then it kind of squares off a little bit, and then it comes up, and then all of a sudden, it'll go in like this, up like this, out like that, and then back up, and then straight across, and then it'll meet, and then it'll come out a little bit, come out. So, yeah, I don't, I don't get it. Like, the layout of this property is so weird. Um... There is, I don't know what the church is, but the, they explained in in the details of the house that no neighbors. Well, literally, and I mean literally, like, here's the house, right? You come down here and you see this branch right here? So here's the house. Here, Here's the road. From, you know, from the main road, right, to our house is right here. Here's the church. You see this t tomato right here? Here's another house. It's like, wait, what? You know, I mean, okay, so the description is such BS. Then it also said that it had um, a walk-in pantry. Um, no, it doesn't. I mean, unless unless the storage unit that they have in there pulls out, it's not walk-in. I mean, even if you pulled it out, I don't know. I mean, unless you're a super itty-bitty, teeny-tiny, little skinny thing, I don't see how it's a walk-in. Um, because there was, you're not walking in that at all. Um, oh, what was the other thing? I don't know. The garden, and I'm, I'm going to put a clip, um, I don't know, I'm going to put a clip in here. Actually, hold on. Let me, let me insert the clip right now. Hey everyone, I don't know if you can hear me. Got the window down so y'all can see, but we are on our way to go and look. Alaska, you know, um, 
But Washington has air inside that too, so yeah, lava. And of course, global warming. Yeah, we got rain coming. All right, I'm gonna let y'all go, and we will be back when we get closer to um, where we're we gonna be. Look at this! Isn't this not gorgeous? I am in love. This is the garden. Here we go. Look at that. And then it goes around here, back here, and then all the way back here. Five and a half acres. I don't want to count my chickens before the eggs. I don't want to get excited. You know, just in case, you know, it doesn't happen. But, oh look, they got raspberries. Look. They got a fence here so that the deer, I mean the deer can still jump over this fence, but they, that's what it's for so the deer don't get into the garden. But, I don't know, hold on if you can see, let me get past this and then you can see the house. It's kind of got a bunch of different slopes, I'm not real keen on that. They've got um, a little, uh, I don't know what you call it, like a little tree house, a little fort, and some swings. But look at this house. Tell me that is not gorgeous. Isn't that gorgeous? Oh, love it. Absolutely love it. And then they got a little koi pond. That right there um, that I'm pointing to, I hope I'm pointing to it. That is a smokehouse. I love that. And then the building right behind it is um, a shed or carport. It uh, two carport, and then it's got a carport for a trailer house or you know a camping trailer. And then up above, it's got a loft all on its own. It is so cool. Here's another kind of different view of the garden. But, wow. Tell me that one. There's my daughter. She's already found. Hi. <laughs> Hi. Yeah, she's already found. She's found her room. Her room, if we get this house, her room has an attached bathroom. Unlike the master, the master doesn't have an attached. Huh? Oh, she's already called it Secret Hideout if we get this house. Ladder is oh. attached. Yes, there's a ladder attached. Oh, well, it's got storage underneath. So that's really cool. I ring you guys. There. Alright, be careful. Don't make it sit. Okay, here's the inside. It's very ugly. But it's huge because the roof is huge. I could add like a TV there, a couch there, a table here, all sort of stuff. And I could put like chairs here. I love this place. All right, I'm gonna hand you guys on back. All right, y'all. Oh, yeah. I'll let you see the... Yeah, it's got a swing set, too. But it's got a pond right here. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? All right. I will let you guys go, and I will see you next time. Love y'all. Big hugs, and don't forget to smile. Bye-bye. Okay, so you didn't, I mean, I couldn't give you the whole tour because um, the people do still live there, but I could give you a tour a little bit of the outside, but um, the the one building I showed you where the smokehouse was, which by the way is a complete bonus, um, that building I showed, you know, I was pointing at saying, okay, that's the garage. Now that 
it says that it's a three, well, a two-car garage, and then the center of it was supposed to be to be able to park a trailer, you know, like a big camping trailer, you know. Uh, no way. Absolutely no way. I mean, even when the, even, okay, if we get this house, even if we took, and he takes it, well, and he will, he'll take it, all of his stuff out, because it's, right now it's full of three Harleys. Um, there's no way you'd put a trailer in there. Um, I don't know, so to me, I love the house, I love the property, I, I'm just seeing a lot more work with the property, which is fine, I, I, I don't have an issue with that. The issue, I guess what I'm saying is, when you, when you put something up for sale, and, and not just houses, but anything, you need to be honest. And to me, in their description of this house, it was very deceitful. Um, because it doesn't have a circular drive. Um, the master bedroom, oh my God, was this tiny little thing. And I was like, nope, office. And it was on the main floor. Upstairs had bigger bedrooms. Um, and then, of course, the room my daughter picked had the adjoining, or not adjoining, but um, a bathroom inside of it. So you would consider a master bedroom. But that was a small room, but it had a huge bathroom. I mean, gorgeous bathroom. I mean, oh my gosh, yeah. Um, now downstairs had an amazing, um, I guess you'd call it a three-quarter bath, um, but it had an amazing walk-in shower. I mean, oh my gosh, in love with the shower. Love with the kitchen love where the laundry room was and then it had a sunroom and what was cool about the sunroom is and they're using it for their dog but um and I thought that would be perfect because it was gated off so you you couldn't get out to the front yard or out to the backyard and but it also had a door to, leading to another area and then, of course, into the house from the sunroom. And I'm going, well, that doesn't make any sense. Why am I seeing two doors, but right here there was no gate. Like, right here there's no gate. It was, like, all open. And so I walked out. I asked, I said, is it okay if I go out? And she, oh, yeah, I, you know. So I go out, and I look, and it was so brilliant. They had gated off. A section and it was a really big section I mean really good sized section I mean not enough for a dog to run around but enough for the dog to you know go and do its business and you know maybe get some exercise you know in the morning before you know it you know you know what I'm saying like I mean it was it wasn't tiny so the dog could play still but it wasn't huge where you know, a big dog would get exercise, if that makes sense. But I thought, oh, that's brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. So, and then upstairs, there was this amazing area. Okay, so you go, and the stairs go up like this, across like this, and then up, right? And then you, the upstairs it has a banister. So right here, you got a banister, right? That you can look down into the whole living area and you can see the family room and like the dining area right now the dining is a sunken dining so you have to step down into the dining room or the family room excuse me and it's gorgeous I mean I love that it, it did kind of have a slight slope like I'm going I feel like I'm going downhill you know because like you walk in and everything's fine and then all of a sudden you hit this one spot and I'm going, I don't know if this is me, because remember, my equilibrium has been, like, totally off lately. I says, but it feels like I'm sloping, like like I'm going downhill. And it was. Um, so that will be an, an issue um, we'll have to look into. But anyhow, so back to upstairs. So you got the one room, okay, that's right here. And the banister comes comes out even further this way so you it comes out this way and then you got the room now in this room and this is the one I was like oh this would be perfect for a master it's got like a reading cove so you walk in 
And then on this side, it's got a reading cove. And then you go in, and it's got the bigger room. And then it's got another little cove. Not as big, but it still has, like, another little cove. And then there's a crappy um, norm closet, right? And then you go in, you know, walk down the hall, and you go to the next room. And it's pretty basic, you know. It's your So I was like, oh, okay, that would be good. Well, and it had a cove. It had... Um, and they had shelving in that cove. And um, and I was like, okay, that'd be cute. And then I was like, oh, that would be good for the birds. And then we go into the last bedroom that's on the on the end of the hall. And before my husband and I could even get there, my daughter starts screaming out, this is my room, this is my room. I mean, my husband looked at, you know, Mr. Life. We'll call him Mr. Life. He uh, goes, yep. Must be the one with the bathroom. And it was. You walked in and to the right had this amazing bathroom. I mean, absolutely gorgeous. Oh, my gosh. Just amazing. So, yeah. And then, of course, she had two alcoves in her room um, besides the bathroom. She had one that could be like a little reading nook or maybe, you know, put her studies in, you know, like a desk, you know, for her studies. And then she had another one, but it had shelving in it. And then also, of course, her basic um, closet. And I was like, oh my gosh, that's amazing. Now, most people would be like, oh yeah, you, you know, the parents should take that. No, th that was actually smaller than the room that we decided to go with. Even though we don't have the bath in our room. But what do I care, you know? I mean, our, I don't know. I just, I look at it this way, you know? I mean, she's 12. She's not going to be living with us forever. And the downstairs ba uh, bathroom on the main level has an amazing bathroom, you know, because we don't take baths. My daughter does, but we don't. So I'm like, I'll go downstairs and take a shower. I don't need a bath in my bedroom, you know. I mean, like right now we have a bath in our bedroom, but it's a crappy bath, you know. I'd rather go downstairs to an amazing bath with an amazing shower, you know. <laughs> Anyhow... I know it kind of sounds like everything is, like, really, really bad, but it's not. Um, we did put in an offer. Um, so, now it's just waiting to see if the offer is going to be accepted, and then we have to hire... Oh, that was the other thing. Oh, my God. Okay, so, in Texas, it only costed us $150 to have someone come out and inspect the house, right? Here, it's going to cost between $400 and $500 to have an inspector come out. I was like, you got to be freaking kidding me. Why so dang much? I mean, that is just insane. You know, come, look at that. Gorgeous! Anyhow, but yeah, isn't that insane? I mean, absolutely insane. I know, I need to fix up. But yeah, insane. $500 just to go and look at the house and say, okay, this is good. Now, there's one thing, and I don't know if the inspector will notice this or not. Um, the windows are all single paint. I was like, uh-uh, nope. I says, if they don't make them change the windows and the doors... I says, Jay, I says, you have to. I says, I hate single paneled. It has to be double paneled. So thank goodness my husband builds windows and doors. Because the sliding door and the French doors are single paned. Ah, uh, no. If y'all know what I'm talking about here in Washington, it gets cold. And single paned windows? Mm-mm. No. But... Other than that, I mean, the rest is just cosmetic. Um, there's not a lot that I would do because, like I said, I absolutely love it. Um, but there are some paint walls that I would paint um, because, you know, put it more my style and not their style, for one. 
Um, but that's really about it. Well, and then the windows and doors. Um, but that's more because of the weather and not so much of the look. You know what I mean? So, anyhow, I have gone on long enough. I know a lot of you don't want to sit here and watch these long videos. So, I'm going to let you guys go. And tomorrow, I will put out another video. I'm trying to remember which one I was going to put out, but I don't. So, I'm not going to tell you which one it is. Which one it is so... Anyhow, I love you all and big hugs and thank you guys for all of the new subscribers. Um, I can't wait till I hit 500 so I can do a giveaway. I'm really excited. So, I mean, I don't want people just to come and subscribe just so that I can they can get a giveaway. I mean, it's all right, I guess, but you know, I want people that want to watch my videos. You know, so. Anyhow, I love y'all, and welcome everyone, and big hugs, and don't forget to smile, like, subscribe if you haven't, and hit that notification bell, and leave me a comment down below. Alright, I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Love ya. Bye-bye.